Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This will get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the world is awash in weakening economic data, reminding us how fortunate we are in New Zealand. Firstly, the latest US Fed minutes indicate they're on track to raise rates at their December meeting. American consumer spending increased by the most in seven months in October, but underlying price pressures slowed, with the US inflation measure preferred by the Federal Reserve posting its smallest annual increase since February. Meanwhile, their housing market trends took another dive lower. Pending home sales fell 2.6 in October from the prior month, and far below the half a percent gain expected. That makes this the 10th straight month this measure has declined on an annual basis, meaning that the October 2018 level was down 6.7% year-on-year and taking them to a four-year low. And unemployment claims in the US are starting to worry some economists. Initial claims rose by 10,000 last week to 234,000, the third straight gain and the highest level since May. Markets were expecting a decrease to 220,000. In China, a major trend is developing as private business concerns struggle in an increasingly uncertain economic environment. The private sector there accounts for half of the country's tax revenue, 60% of GDP and 80% of urban employment. But it is shrinking as state-owned enterprises have begun absorbing many of these companies as they suffer severe difficulties. In the EU, there's been a bit of an unexpected turn. Business sentiment stopped falling in November, picking up when the trend has been down. That comes after third quarter data for GDP was soft in a number of countries, including Sweden, Switzerland and Germany. And New Zealand has ranked number two in the world for prosperity. We were let down by education, health and personal safety, but gained very high scores for economics, governance, personal freedom, natural environment and social capital. However, we slipped from number one in 2017 we're also number one in 2016, 15 and 2014. This time pipped by Norway. Canada is number eight, Australia is number 13, and the US is number 17 for prosperity. In international trade transactions, businesses are rejecting the Chinese yuan, according to the latest data from SWIFT. The yuan now only commands 1.01% of all trades, down from 1.21% last year. In fact, the Aussie dollar is more popular and trusted at 1.41%. The US Treasury 10-year yield is lower today at 3.04%. At one point, it briefly dipped below 3%. Their 2.10 curve has fallen sharply too, now just on 22 basis points. And gold has risen for a second day, this time by another $6 to now be $1,226 an ounce. U.S. oil prices are a little higher today at just under $52 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is now just under $60 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is a little lower today, now at 68.5 U.S. cents. On the cross rates, we're also marginally softer at 93.8 Aussie cents and at 60.2 Euro cents. That sets the TWI back to 73. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.